Hello, I'm Noodle Cat, and today I want to show you how to do this. Oh, oh, so yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, today I want to show you how to use um, Unreal's. They have like material layer and layer blends. I want to show you how you can use these to be able to swap between materials dynamically via blueprint. So like I have these two materials here. Say you want to be able to blend nicely between the two um, without like having it snap like this. That's essentially what I'll be able to show you today. All right, so first things first, you'll need three different things. You will need, you will need your material layer and we will make two call this cell, sorry, material layer, cell shading. And then we'll make another one that's in material, material layer, material layer, we'll make this one slime. You'll need your material layers. You'll need a material blend, which is also in the same, uh, the same folder here, material blend. We'll go MB, sorry, material layer blend. We'll just have one because we'll blend, be blending from one to the other. And then you need just your master material, which is just a normal material. So we'll do material blend example. There we go. There's a great video out there, which I'll link here, um, that goes more into detail about what exactly these are and how you can use them uh, less dynamically. Um, it's super helpful. I recommend that you watch it if any of this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> so first we'll work with our uh, material layers. Um, essentially what you can do is almost copy paste what you have in these materials into your material layer. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. Just grab all these nodes, copy, control C, hop into cell shading and control V. There's a couple things in here that you don't super have to worry about. Essentially, this is what um, outputs your material attributes into the layer. So the only thing you have to do to connect these two is you have to make a node that's called make material attributes and it will give you all of the attributes that are available to you. So this goes into emissive and this goes into opacity mask. Yeah, and then we'll do the same thing with the other one. Pop it slime. This one's a little bit more complicated. Copy. Pop into here and paste. And connect all our stuff into the make material attributes node. With some reference into here, because I don't remember where things go. Uh, all done. Okay. All right. So next up is our material layer blend. Um, if we open this, it essentially does exactly what it says here. It takes your bottom layer, your top layer, and what we're making is almost an alpha mask in between these. So I have, yes, I have some nodes here that I have copied from another project, but I'm going to link another video here of where I got a lot of this information from. This um, this essentially lets you make this sort of gradient in like within the object's bounds. Uh, yeah, this will be linked. Um, super helpful tutorial. Good, good shit. But yeah, essentially, um, this is how you're going to lerp almost between these two materials. And you'll see here I have errors. Um, because this was copied. This was copied from a material that had material, uh, like a collection parameter. Um, you can do it this way, but you can also just use uh, normal uh, scalar parameters as well. Yeah, so if we actually plug some values in here, you can see what this is doing. Um, essentially, you have your black and white for um, opaque versus translucent. Um, and if we were to slide between these, I believe it's negative three is your good value and positive three. Yes, so this is sort of your blend out. This is the um, attribute that we will be um, uh, animating on. So we'll call this um, 
slime blend. All right, and then all that's left to do is to throw everything into our uh, master material. Uh, first thing you want to do, if you go up here and search attributes, you want to tick on use material attributes, which will just collapse this into um, a single input for all the attributes. Um, and what you can make is a material attribute layers node. And if you go in here over in details while you have this selected, it will show you all the layer information. So I just pressed the plus button to add our um, next layer. So we will do the slime and our cell shading will be the bottom layer. Uh, save that, but also you'll want to add in your, there's a bunch of default stuff in here. So if I look up the slime thing, you'll also want to add your um, material layer blend that we just made as well. And you'll see that changed it because I assume we are entirely either entirely white or black over here. So if I save this and assign that to our thing, there we go. You can kind of see it here. We uh, can sort of kind of blend between these two. We go in here and set this to zero. Then it should be right smack in the middle there. Yeah, there we go. So you can blend between those two. So that's your basic setup for these two. Oh, and I should also mention that within here, um, you can do a lot more in here um, between these two attributes. This is sort of the most bare bones sort of basic way of doing it. But um, that, that, the other tutorial that I will link again um, goes way more into detail about uh, all that information. This is all we need for our purposes today. So then let's say that we want to control this blend via Blueprint. Um, yes, save that. We will create a Blueprint. Actor, Blueprint, Blend. And we can actually throw our sphere in here. And assign our, our blend example material. So let's say that you would want to blend between these two layers uh, on, say, base bar. What you would do is you would, first of all, enable input so that we can actually use space bar. Get player controller. There we go. What you also have to do is you have to create a dynamic material instance for the sphere. That way you can actually dynamically change this material. And we'll put in our master our master blend uh, material here. And then we can set this as a variable. Call it blend, blend material. And then from here, you can find our space bar. And we'll have to make a timeline so that we can actually blend between these nicely. The blend. And we'll actually have this uh, play from start every time. So if we hop into this uh, timeline, we can add a float track since this is a scalar parameter. A blend. And I believe you can right click to add key on these. We'll set our time to zero. I believe our start value is negative three. And we'll have this happen over five seconds. So at time five, we will go to positive three. And then we can see that it will uh, go nicely between those two values. So if you wanted to set a parameter on a normal material, all you would have to do is grab this and say set scalar, vector, texture, whatever um, parameter value. You would add your parameter name and you would just tie this in. But because we're working with layers, it's a little bit different. Um, what you'll have to do is instead, we're working with scalar, so we'll do set scalar parameter value by info. Um, break this link because we want it to update uh, on our timeline. Find our value. And what we can do is we can make a material parameter info and all we have to do is fill in this information. 
Uh, so the parameter name is slime blend. We'll just copy, paste. We can tell it that it is a blend parameter since it's in the blend and the index will be zero because it's looking, say you had like eight different layers, it's looking for what index to look for. So if you were, if you were working with layer parameters, like something within material layer cell shading, you would do the same thing and the index would be zero because that's the first one. But because this is the first, it is on layer one, but because it's the first index of the blends, it's looking for zero. You compile save, give that a go. Press spacebar. There you go. Got a nice five second blend between the uh, materials. So yeah, that's the basics of uh, material layers and material layer blends. Um, obviously you can go crazy with this. You can add a ton more uh, layers in here and a ton of different uh, blends and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, there's, there's the basics. Hopefully that was informative. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you all next time.